my mind, one of the best parts of the past month is seeing people remember what matters most to them. In a way, they become an advocate for a very old or new passion of theirs. Actually, one of the strategic pillars of National FFA is advocacy and agricultural literacy, so that we can equip our students not with what to say, but how they can say it, so that whether or not they go directly into agriculture, they can remain a lifelong advocate for whatever they may believe in. The next crew that helped me out with this video took advocacy and put their very own unique spin on it. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Anthony Aguiga, and I am from Houston FFA in the Central Valley of California. I am here on my family's third generation dairy farm to share with you my passion for agriculture advocacy. With the help of several industry experts, I have been creating a series of virtual field trips and live Q&A sessions, along with agricultural-based crafts and fun activities that participants can enjoy. Agriculture is and always will be the future of our industry and these virtual field trips are one of the many ways that FFA members can continue to spread agricultural literacy. Thank you. Hi, I'm Avery and I'm from Pass Rebels, California. Through these challenging times we are facing, my floral team has been taking different approaches to reaching out to our community, starting with writing letters to people in nursing homes to help them feel less alone. We also wrote letters to touch base with our community members and ag industry partners. To help spread cheer and happiness, we have been giving away floral arrangements. My floral team has been heavily involved in pastoral wolves, trying to help whenever we can by donating and raising money for different organizations. We feel everyone can use a little happiness in their life. I think my floral team is doing a great job supporting the Paso Robles area and being a positive influence during this time. Hi, my name is Jessica Helsinger. I'm the FFA advisor at the Covington FFA chapter in Ohio. And my chapter is hosting the 2020 Virtual Showmanship Challenge. That's open to any exhibitor across the United States. Uh, we even have an under age eight category and it goes all the way up to 21. There are several different divisions based on your species. Um, we even have uh, a rabbit and guinea pig division for show and ship and a unique pet category. If your pet does an awesome trick, we would love to see it. Uh, video submissions are supposed to be 60 to 90 seconds and you upload those at the link, um, which I'm sure National Cafe will have on here. And we can't wait. May 1st, our entries are due. We're trying to get some sponsors together so we could even do banners for our award winners in each age division. And we're really excited about this opportunity. Uh, this is the first activity that my new FFA chapter officer team has planned. And quite frankly, we just wanted to put something out there that our kids could get uh, some more experience with. So after many calls from parents and FFA members wondering whether it was worth the risk to buy animals this year, um, not knowing what was going to happen with fair or state fair or jackpot shows and so forth. And the deal is we don't do this for a ribbon. At least it's not in my house. This is my daughter's first year in 4-H and we we just decided as a family that we were going to do this and this is what I told the parents of my FFA members. Um, the great lessons that we all learned through livestock projects and getting to care for that animal and the responsibility that it teaches and we wanted to bring that um, opportunity for our kids to show off those skills that they work so hard with these animals and develop that bond with them. So we hope you'll try the 2020 Virtual Showmanship Challenge and let us know if you have any questions. Hey, I'm Leah and I'm from the Amcot FFA chapter. Uh, over the course of seven weeks, our officers have split those weeks up so that each of us get to post what we want during the quarantine. And uh, during my week, I wanted to open it up to more members. And so I got the opportunity to invite more members to share pictures of themselves and their animals that make them smile. And um, in turn, I posted on the social media accounts these animals and our members in hopes that it brings more enjoyment to um, everybody who follows us and all the other members that are involved in our FFA chapter. Uh, I was really happy that I got reached out and um, could share this with you guys and I hope you enjoy these photos and I'm really excited to be representing the Interqual FFA chapter. Hey y'all, my name is Mallory Peoples. I'm from the Katy FFA chapter down in Katy, Texas. And recently one of our chapter members, Brianna Davis, had the amazing idea to allow our seniors to retire their jacket via social media. The purpose of these posts were to advocate for all the hard work these seniors have put in for the past three or four years. In the agriculture industry, advocacy is known as publicizing your support for agriculture. However, my chapter put a spin on that and advocated for these seniors' experience. 
I was able to post a video of me retiring my jacket for the last time and caption it with my experience, journey, and some advice for the underclassmen. I was given the platform to advocate for this amazing organization. And during quarantine and staying home, we're all given the opportunity to advocate via social media, and that's what my chapter did. Hi, my name is Kayla McBroom, and I'm the Rubido Chapters Treasurer in California and a proud member of the Riverside Section and Southern Region. Different ways advocacy has been shown in my chapter has been posting some cool DIYs that our chapter members could do while in quarantine. For example, on Earth Day, our chapter president posted how to make planters and we will be using those to hang on our school farm. We are using our social media platforms to engage chapter members and show them that agriculture can stem from many different things. I think advocacy is important because not only are you giving families, teachers, and students the skills they need to succeed, but helping to unite and strengthen agriculture as a whole. Advocating the importance of not only this organization, but what we do and can do to make a positive impact on others.